Now I'm going to zoom in even more, because there's a couple new features with this new iMovie. I like it spinning, but let's say about here I want to slow it down. So I'm going to select it, I'm going to split it there, then I move up to about here, select it again, and split that there. I want to isolate this small, about four second video clip right there, or two second. So I'm going to select it now. This new option is a speed one. Select it down here, speed, and I want to make this thing go really slow. One fourth of the normal speed. So you saw it stretch it out, and this is what it's going to look like. Going one fourth the speed, and then it's going to speed up once it gets to the next clip. What would I do without your smart mouth drawing me? And there's another thing I want to do here. That's, that's the speed. You can make it go faster, slower, whatever you want. Uh, but I think that's pretty cool, giving you the option to slow down some, some clips to one-fourth of the speed. Now back here, I'm going to extend this again slightly. But I want to freeze it. Right about there. So in order to freeze the video at a certain point, again, select it. Down here at the bottom, you just select freeze and now it turns it into a still photo so see it move and when it gets to the photo it stays still and you can adjust this just like video select it and make it as long or short as you want I'm going to keep it about that long and now I'm going to get rid of this last clip by highlighting it and pressing delete now we have a little video clip 17 seconds long um, I want to add a title to this so I'm going to select this video clip and you can put a title over it by pressing the title down there. You have none, an opening. If you select opening, it goes down there. You have a middle, also down there, just a little smaller, and a closing, again, on the side. So I'm going to select opening, press there, and now I'm going to get really creative with this title and call it The Wedding, wait for it, Ring. Done. So let's see what this looks like. And then it comes out. So that's how you add a title. You add the video, you slow it down, you freeze it. A whole bunch of cr creative things you do there. Now I want to add a photo. I'm going to go up here to the photo section. My camera roll. It has to be saved on the camera. Um, and here's a nice little ring shot. I'm going to select it and it automatically goes down wherever that white line is. Fear not though, if you don't want it cutting in the middle of it, you can select it and move it wherever you want. I think this is pretty cool. I'm going to actually move this to the beginning. I'm going to take the title off this one and now put the title on this. And just like with video, you can trim it down however long you want. But you notice that when you add photos, iMovie does something automatically. It's called the Ken Burns effect, where the photo slowly moves. Not much you could do about that, but at least it looks really nice. So I'm going to play this and see how we like it. I like that, but I'm going to trim it down by just a few seconds by zooming in. Selecting that. Actually, less than a few seconds. Click and drag it just slightly to shorten it. So now we added a photo. We moved it around. We have our video. We added a song. Everything looks good. 